Hi and welcome to tutorial 3 in this series of tutorials designed to help you learn MultiCharts Power Language. In this tutorial we're going to be taking the program that we wrote in tutorial 2 and I'm just going to be demonstrating the print functionality and this is something I use a lot particularly when I'm debugging a program so it is uh, something that not only can provide information from the program but can also be used while you're building a program to understand what's going on and uh, work out if any mistakes or, or bugs are present. So uh, let's go straight into Power Language. I've already got the uh, editor open and what I'm going to do is just open Tutorial 2 which we created in the last tutorial. Incidentally if you're not in our email list then please uh, go to chartsplex that's C-H-A-R-T-P-L-E-X Dot com and uh, join the email list. So anyway, I'm going to save this as tutorial 3, otherwise it's exactly the same. And uh, it's going to compile that, we don't need to do that. But uh... Okay, so what I want to do is at the first bar of each day I want to print out some information from here. So I'm going to do that just simply by putting print, open brackets, and uh, then I'm going to put date the time and uh, then what we're going to do just uh, just put in what the ATR high line is so I'm just putting this in quotes that means that will appear as a um, text this is the actual value and this is where we define first of all the number of uh, characters we want there so let's just say put in 10 and let's put in three for decimal places and then let's do the same thing for the ATR low line and again we're just going to put in this time let's make it five characters and let's make it two decimal places and uh, that is everything so I'm just going to close the brackets and put a semicolon in and uh, just going to compile that Also what I'm just set up uh, or rather turn on here is the output bar and um, this thing is not applied to a chart so what we're going to do is just go to the IBM 15 minute chart and we're just going to apply tutorial 3 to the chart and uh, okay so it doesn't really matter how it appears on the screen because what we're really interested in now in this particular tutorial is the output and here you'll see um, the output from that. So one of the things you'll notice here is that the date um, in uh, multi-charts, the, uh, the date has this peculiar format where the uh, this is the day, the 30th, that's the month, the 12th, and 110 means 2010. Um, if you wanted to um, change that to be a more readable date, there's a couple of things we could do here. Uh, one is to clear the print log every time you run the program because otherwise you're sometimes not sure whether something you're looking at was there the last time you run the program so we're going to do once which means that when you run the program it just literally does it once and we're going to put in this thing clear print log so I'm just double clicking that put semicolon and then what I'm going to do is change this date and use a function called el uh, date to string you'll see it here very helpfully I'm just going to put date in the brackets there and what we could also do just to create a space is just put in a space like so and uh, let's put, compile that by pressing F3 and having done that we should start seeing the date in a more understandable format there we go 30th of December 2010 the other thing that we can do, which is uh, extremely useful, is not just print to the output uh, area here, we can also print to a separate file. And uh, we do that simply by creating in this first part of the, uh, the statement, we put in a file, then we're going to put in the name of the file, so I'm just going to call it C, which is uh, my hard drive name, um, let's just call it multicharts. Um, eg 
dot text it doesn't have to be text but uh, let's do that here close the brackets and put in a uh, comma then we're just going to compile that again and what you'll notice now is because we've cleared the print log and we're not printing to the clip the uh, print log this is there's nothing here but if we now go into the uh, the hard drive we should be able to see that file so I'm just going to do that I'm going to click uh, right click on start I'm using Windows XP incidentally I'm going to click explore okay I'm just going to click on my my root of the uh, the hard drive I'm just going to these are already sorted and there you can see the file that we just created and if I were to go right click that and say open with for example notebook we would see the information in a separate text file and of course you could open that with a spreadsheet and um, then you know perhaps do some more analysis on it anyway I uh, hope you find that useful again if you're not part of the chartplex.com that's c-h-a-r-t-p-l-e-x.com email list then please do join and I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs thank you